Hey guys, we're here in uh, Key West, another beautiful sunset. We're sitting around talking about bridge deck clearance on Um Stephen, why does a cat need a, a high bridge deck clearance? Catamarans need a high bridge deck clearance because you want to have good clearance when you're going through the waves. You want, you want to be able to clear the waves in most sea conditions. All catamarans slam at some stage. But if you have a good bridge, bridge deck clearance, you're not going to slam and you also have an issue where you have two bows going through the water and the inside bow waves of those two bows converge so where they converge you want the bridge deck clearance to be enough that they don't drum against the bottom of the of the bridge deck so what happens if you if your bridge deck uh, clearance is inadequate if your bridge deck clearance is inadequate what will happen is you'll slam uh, you could also call it bottoming out where the entire tunnel of the boat fills with water and the boat significantly decelerates and uh, affects the performance of the boat so you don't want you don't want to have a bridge deck where, where, where you slam in any seas uh, another bad thing about that of course is that you get crew fatigue if a boat's slamming the whole time uh, crew fatigue becomes uh, becomes an issue and also of course the boat doesn't like to be accelerating and decelerating and slamming into waves so this could cause excessive wear to the rig and to the boat itself so you uh, when we sailed up Hawks Channel you made a, a video uh, of the holes in between while we were sailing um, do you want to describe what we saw yes uh, well we were we were sailing in 30 to 38 knots as the wind speeds we saw and uh, that following seas about six to eight foot we had to stay in the deep sections of Hawks Channel because it's quite a shallow body of water we didn't want to bottom out and hit the bottom anywhere um, I went down into one of the hulls and I took a video through the escape hatch to see what was happening between the hulls which was very interesting uh, in, in terms of you know we, we would see it we get very calm and quiet when the boat was actually surfing on the waves uh, we got boat speed was from 9 to about 14 knots uh, for the for the duration we did we did night we did average of nine knots for the entire trip we did 45 miles in five hours um, but everything was in the right direction and it was a very quiet ride I mean we didn't have much slamming at all great okay guys with that we're signing off um